Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on Cold Mouse Better Dance YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button to get notified every time I upload a new video. Today we're going to learn how to do a belly dance hip circle. This movement is everywhere in every single choreography that I do and this is one of my most favorite moves to trim your waistline and to work on your abs. But before we do that, let us remember our correct belly dance posture, our knees are soft and our pelvis is neutral, so your bum is not sticking up and you're not tucking under, it's neutral pelvis, soft knees and your feet are a little bit narrower than shoulder distance apart. So are you ready for it? Let's do it. First of all, let us inhale up and down. Open up your arms and let's do one snake arm. Relax your arms. And let them flow side to side, side to side. Let's do it one more time. Arms. A few dorsal circles. And let's go forward and stretch through our obliques. All go forward again. And let us do this today. So let us stretch our neck. And let's do the same on the other side. We're going to do a few hair flips today. So let us make sure that we're safe with our legs all the way around the face. Perfect. Okay, so we are ready to rock and roll. So let us see. Today, um, as I mentioned before, we're going to learn how to do a belly dance hip circle. As you might recall, if you have already taken a few of my classes, when we're moving with our hips, we're not moving anything above our waist, practicing the belly dance isolation principle. So our knees are soft. Imagine that nothing above your waist exists, you're not going to move it for this movement. And um, what you're going to do is imagine that you have, you have crayons attached to your hips and you're going to draw a circle on the floor beneath you, right? So it's a hip circle, circle, circle. Sometimes for some people it just works and explain it that way. Just imagine drawing a hip, a circle with your hips. Make sure that your feet are perfectly flat on the floor. So when you're doing the movement, as you can see my feet, I'm not picking my heels up. The, the uh, feet are perfectly flat. And um, you're doing a circle. I can break this down a little bit differently and do this. So we're going to start moving with our left hip. With our left hip. So what you're going to do is shift all your weight into your left hip like this. Your knees soft and your foot, left foot is flat on the floor. So all you're doing is shifting, sliding the hip and stretching as if you're trying to touch that wall with your hip. Then you're shifting all the weight forward, moving your pelvis forward. Shifting your hip to the right as if you're trying to touch that wall with your hip. And then untapping the pelvis. So, shift, tuck, shift, untuck, shift, tuck, shift, untuck, circle, 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 circle. So pretty much this move is uh, made up of two, two moves. It's the hip slide, so sliding your hips left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. 
and tucking and untucking your pelvis. So uh, this is a neutral pose. If you want to tuck and then you untuck, tuck, untuck, tuck, untuck. Make sure when you're untucking it though, don't go all the way because you can hurt your lower back. So not to 100% of your ability, I would say maybe to like eight. Okay, and then what you're doing, you're combining these two moves. So you hip slide the hip to the left, and then tap, slide it to the right, and then tap. And repeat, repeat, repeat. And what I like doing with this, I like doing the wrist circles with uh, everything prior warm up. And coming up with the wrist circles. And combining them all together. So you can do it slow and you can do it fast. And now let's try to go the opposite direction. So you slide to the right and then tap, left, and tap. Right, tap, left, and tap. And slow, 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 slow. You can add your arms. Slow. So if you have been watching some of our routines, some of our choreo, you know that I love hip circles and I love doing them fast. So for our today's little um, choreo, we are going to do them slow and do them fast. So let's do it all together. You're gonna go slow, too slow. One, two, then four fast. One, two, three, four. Let's try it again. One. Two, one, two, three, four. Okay, then after we, we've done the back, we're going to move with four hip circles to the right. So I'm not going to discuss the traveling hip circle step today. Uh, I'll make another video about this because that's a shebang. But what you can do is as you're stepping, as you're so as you're stepping, as your hip is moving to the right, you're taking a little step and you travel with it. Travel, travel. But since it's kind of a bit of a, an exercise routine today, let's not don't get too concerned about that. Just kind of move with it, move. Just know that you need to take four steps with it. And as we do this, so one, two, one, two, three, four. And as you're moving with four circles, you can uh, add some more room to our heart rate and add the arms. You're doing the circles with the right, all of your arms like this. One, two, three, four. You keep the arms here. And we're going to go for figure eight to the back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm adding the description here. A link to my uh, tutorial on how to do figure eight to the back. If you don't know how to do it, just scoop your hips to the right. I mean, scoop your hips to the back, like you're scooping ice cream. Back, 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 back. Now, when I confuse everybody, I feel like, let's repeat it one more time. You're going one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Keep the arms here, one, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. One, two, one, two, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As you right here, you're going to shimmy with your shoulders. Once again, just shimmy with your shoulder, right shoulder forward, left shoulder forward. So this is the back. And what you're going to do is you're going to shimmy and Move forward and shimmy come back. Shimmy move forward, shimmy come back. So you're gonna go one, two, and then you're gonna continue with the shoulder shimmy to keep the heart rate up. And you're going to go in a circle to the right. You're like, what are you doing? That's the way now. Okay, it's all about the circle step. So let's do it again. You're gonna go forward, back. We go. Okay. So when you're doing here, you're doing that closer circle that you're in the warm up with your layering shoulder chin on it. Okay, ready? Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three,
two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, And we're gonna repeat the same thing on the left. Keep circling on the left. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, five. We go on the right, it's just hard to go on the left. So this one. Then you're gonna do this thing. You're gonna put your left foot over the right and do just the fast 360 turn. Bubble, 360. Let's do it again. Left foot over the right, 360. And as you ride here, you're going to do my favorite thing in the whole wide world, a hair toss. For the hair toss, okay, I love hair tosses, so you're going to stay with hair tosses. Even though it's a hair toss and you're tossing your hair, you're going to make sure you're not leaving with your neck. You start with your torso. So our movement is gonna be like this. We're gonna do this. Okay. <laughs> Without talking. That's it again. So you're gonna start leaning on your right with your whole torso. And as you move forward, your head follows and you're flipping your head. Okay. So as you Go back here, you're gonna turn around 360, your hair knots, and the pose back. Ta -da! Okay, let's do it. I'll count first, and then we're just gonna jump straight into it and do it a few times. Ready? Are you tired? Well, let's do a bit of a stretch. 
the arms up and down. Let's keep going now. Look at all the hair. Come up. Go to. First with the shoulder, but now let your body go all the way down. Okay. And go to the other end. And side. All right, left. Grow tall again, then kind of pat yourself on the back like this. With your art right arm. Go tall again. And then do the same on the back. Okay. And in the class you have. And I'm done. Stretch all the way to your calves. And now, if you like, I would like for you to make sure that your head and neck melt down. So if you can keep your knees straight, keep them straight. If not, you can just bend your knees and relax a little. And then you can sway from side to side. And slowly come up. And drop your shoulders to the back. And let's do our inhale and exhale routine. Inhale up. And exhale up. Again, inhale up. And exhale up. And let's do it one more time. Inhale. And as you inhale, hold all the anxieties, worries, anything that makes you upset. Hold it in your heart. Hold it. And now we're about to let it out to the loudest side so it never bothers ever again. Let's do it. One, two, three. And that's it. I hope you liked today's short tutorial. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.